The best things in life are sweet, and truly it is. Good morning, my fellow students. Today, you are all in for a big treat. Last meeting, you already had a great day, and today, I am going to share to you my three easy and basic baking recipes. Back when I was in third grade, I made my first ever chiffon cake. The flour, sugar, eggs, cream of tartar, and all the other good stuff were already set. However, as we waited for my cake to bake for 40 minutes, did it rise? My cake dropped. It, it went down, submerged even, and, and it sank. God damn it. My 10-year-old self never gave up, and boy, I did it over and over and over again for nine times until I finally got it right. And our electricity bill went way, way, way up, if you can only imagine. Talk about nine times charming. But enough story time. Here's the real reason. Julia Child said that, find something you're passionate about and keep tremendously interested in it. And here I am, nine years later, still doing what I love to do and making a mess out of our kitchen. But for me, it's more than just fashion. It's a wonderful feeling of making something good and, and pretty and beautiful and letting others enjoy it. Now that's baking. And my three easy and basic baking recipes are chocolate cupcakes, sponge cakes, and chocolate chip cookies. Now in our house, there is nothing a cupcake can solve. And these chocolate cupcakes of mine are moist and delicious. And one piece is not just enough. So here's how you make them. In a bowl, combine flour, a good quality of unsweetened cocoa powder, baking soda, baking powder, and a pinch of salt. Sift these dry ingredients all together to ensure that no lumps form in our batter. Next, in a separate bowl, combine an egg, milk, sugar, vanilla extract, warm water, and the most important ingredient to achieve its moistness is vegetable oil. After that, combine the dry ingredients to the wedge and stir them in. Once you've got your chocolate batter, pour them in a cupcake tray filled with cupcake liners and then bake this in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 14 minutes. After that, let your cupcakes cool, or you can just dig right into them. It's all the same. These chocolate cupcakes of mine are rich. These chocolate cupcakes are moist, and these chocolate cupcakes are chocolatey and definitely, definitely, definitely a smooth stealer. And for my next recipe is this vanilla sponge cake. This is my mom's favorite. She calls it her coffee cake because she likes to pair it with hot coffee during weekend mornings. This is an old fashioned recipe. It's fluffy, it's delicate, and it's packed with flavor. So here's how you make them. In a bowl, mix in melted butter, sugar, egg, milk, vanilla extract. Add in your flour, baking powder, and use a mixer to beat the batter for five minutes or until it has a smooth and lumpy texture. Once you've got your batter, pour it in two 8-inch pans greased with butter, and then bake this in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius for 30 to 40 minutes, or until a toothpick inserted comes out clean, and then let it cool on a wire rack. And so, the search for a spongy and soft vanilla cake ends here. Slice this bad boy up, and ladies and gentlemen, you've got yourself the best recipe for a simple, fluffy, moist, plain vanilla sponge cake ever. And let me tell you, this is by far the one I've made ever best one yet. And for my last recipe, this is easy chocolate chip cookie. It's crispy, crusty on the outside. Boy, it's moist and chewy on the inside, and I sure you would all love this. So here's how you make them. In a bowl, cream together the butter and sugar until it's light and fluffy. And like what Martha Stewart said, this is the foundation of all good chocolate chip cookies. Add in your flour, your chocolate chips, your eggs, baking soda, and a pinch of salt. 
combine them all, and fold them in. Once you've got your cookie dough, put them in the fridge for two to four to six hours because the coldness of the dough will help maintain its shape as it bakes. Once you've done that, scoop your dough, roll them into balls, and place them on a pan with parchment paper. Pop them in the oven on 165 degrees Celsius for eight to 10 minutes. After that, let these cookies cool for 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes, or until you can no longer resist the urge to bite into them. Pair this up with a nice glass of cold milk. And boys, let me tell you, this is the best recipe for a chocolate chip cookie. It's, best, it's the best, it's delicious, and it's the perfect batch you've got. But these are only a few of my delicious and mouth-watering recipes. But what is really my secret ingredient? What is the most important thing that makes all sweets, desserts, and pastries so special? Ladies and gentlemen, it's love and attention. Because when we make things out of love and effort, they come out beautifully as expected. And that's all for today, folks. I have shared to all of you my three easy and basic baking recipes. And I sure hope you would all give these a try. You could also order a few batches from me for a very reasonable price. And remember, everybody, count the memories and not the calories. Thank you all so much, and have a pleasant morning.